Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. Shuriken just released their Solana Sniper. So I wanted to make this quick tutorial explaining how to use it. Of course, meme coin trading and sniping can lead to you absolutely nuking your portfolio. So please proceed with caution. This is not financial advice, nor is it an easy button for trading and automatically making profits. There is a ton of luck, skill, and insider info when it comes to being successful with meme coins. Now, I'm not gonna go over the basics of Shuriken. I've already made a full A to Z video about that, how to set it up, create a wallet, buy, sell, all of that, which I will link above this video or in the description down below. I will also include my referral link in the description down below. If you want to support my channel, I will get a small piece of your fees. And if you refer other people, you'll also get their fees. And they have not yet released their Blade token. So I'm trying to build up my volume, my referrals in the hopes of getting a nice airdrop. So here we are in Telegram. Yes, Shuriken is both a web app and a telegram bot that are synced together. However, the sniper is currently only available in telegram. So that's where we're going to be making our tutorial. I'm just going to paste a random contract. Please do not go buy this. I chose it at random. It's probably going to zero. And in order to get to the sniping interface, you're going to have to be in simple mode. So if your interface looks like this, just click the simple. And now you're going to be able to see these pistol emojis on each side of the swap button. So you would just click on that pistol. It's going to change the interface into the snipe interface. Now, at first glance, this area might look quite intimidating. There's a ton of buttons. There's really only two that matter. The first one is how much Solana you want to buy with. So my default settings are one, five, 10, or I can choose a random amount like three. And then I press enter, boom, it's going to switch to three. And then the second one is going to be my bribe. And a bribe is how much I'm willing to pay for my transaction to go through before everybody else. So bribes are sent in as a bundle and the bribe that I have based on how much money I put, it's going to put me in an order compared to other people. So if they're willing to pay more than me, their transaction is going to go through first. Now, unfortunately, there is no one size fits all when it comes to bribe. I can't tell you, you know, put 0.05 in your transaction is always going to go through first. It really just depends on how many people are trying to snipe, how hyped the token is. If you're familiar with minting a very very hyped NFT during like a public sale when we used to all get ready before the sell happened in MetaMask and we would preset our gas. It's very similar to that where we didn't know how high GUI was going to go to, but we'd all try to predict what we thought it would do compared to previous hyped mints. So this is kind of the same thing. You're pretty much just guessing in most scenarios, unless it's the hypest token you've ever seen in a lot of scenarios, 0.01 Solana is going to be absolutely fine. If you really want to push it, you can go with like 0.05 or 0.1 if you want to get competitive. Now, I actually don't want to buy this token because it's random. So I'm just going to set it to point like 001. So I would just click it, change the number, press enter. And those are really the only two settings you have to worry about if you just want to snipe a random token. However, there's a bunch more buttons. So let's quickly go through those. The first one is slots and slots are like blocks. So here I'm saying if my transaction takes more than 20 slots, I don't want it to go through anymore. Now a slot is 400 milliseconds. So for example, if after 10 seconds, I don't want to snipe anymore, I would change this to 25. And after 25 slots or 10 seconds, it is no longer going to snipe. Next, we have DEXs. And this is just going to let you select if you want it to only snipe a token that is launched on a specific like radium decks. Eventually, they're going to add more here. I'm just going to leave it at both. After that, we have min out. And this is the minimum number of tokens that I want to snipe in my transactions. So you're going to have to do some math here and figure out what a good number is based on their supply and how much money you're willing to spend on your snipe. But let's just say I put, I don't know, a million or however I put. If it's not going to get that because, I don't know, my snipe didn't go off and the market cap shot through the roof and spending three soul isn't going to get me a million tokens tokens, it's not going to go through. So it's sort of like a layer of protection in my snipe. Next, I can choose how many wallets I want to snipe from. So if I want to do multiple, I would turn on all three here and then I would just click done. These next two, you're probably never going to use min soul liquidity basically means there needs to be this amount minimum in the liquidity pool for my sniper to go through. If there isn't, I do not want to snipe it. And then with min token supply, you're just saying this is the maximum 
some percentage of tokens I want there to be in the liquidity pool in order for my snipe to go through. Like I said, you're probably never going to use those two, but they're there if you want to. So now that I'm happy with my settings, I would go ahead and click save. It's going to ask me to confirm. It's also going to notify me for every single wallet that I'm trying to snipe with. There's going to be a fee of 0.002 Solana, which is pennies. But if you're doing a million snipes, right, it's going to add up over time. So in this case, I have three wallets. So I'm going to get that fee three times. I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. And it creates my snipe. Now, if I want to see my snipe, I can just scroll back up and click view all snipes. And you could see my newly created snipe on all three of my wallets. So if I want to disable them, I would go here and just click disable. And you could see the status has changed, or I could just go ahead and delete this snipe if I no longer want to do it. I'm no longer interested in sniping this coin. It also once again warns me that there could be a fee of 0 0.0005 soul. Again, pennies per wallet, but I'm just going to go ahead and press yes because I do not want to do this snipe. Now, let's say I'm not at my token page, but I want to pull up all of these snipes that I have. In this case, I would just do slash snipes. So as you can see, I have three. If I want to switch between each one, I would just click the arrow here and it's going to rotate between them. You could see by this check mark, that is the one that is currently active. If I want to look at this token, I would just click on the pistol emoji with the name and it's going to bring up this token. And from the slash snipe section, I could also just disable or full out delete the snipe that I've set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of these. And there you have it. That is how you set up your Solana sniper using Shuriken. But how is this different from the other snipers that are already out there? Well, there's essentially two different kinds of snipers on Solana. The first one are called spammers. And what these try to do is snipe over and over again, but it's gonna cost you money every single time it tries to snipe. So every millisecond, you're gonna be paying a little bit of Solana, but if you get time rugged, by a token if they keep saying hey we're having issues the tokens dropping in 10 minutes and then it ends up being five hours for five hours every millisecond you are spending a little bit of Solana. So if you're doing this every single day, that is really going to add up over time. Compare that to Shuriken Sniper. Other than the setup fee that we just saw, that 0 0.002, you are not going to be spending any money until the snipe actually hits. Now, the downside to this kind of sniper is that it is 0.5 to 1 seconds slower than the spammers, but you're potentially saving hundreds or thousands of dollars in Solana because you're not just spending money over and over trying to hit your snipe. So it could save you a ton of money. It is slightly slower, but it is faster than all the other telegram snipers that are out there. Now you're probably thinking, cool, I understand how the sniper works, but I have no idea where to find these Solana contract addresses that haven't launched yet. Well, a little bit of alpha, unless Shuriken already dropped it by the time I released this video. Shuriken is going to be dropping their soul scanner, which picks up all of the new Solana tokens that have been created, but have not launched yet. So very soon you are going to have access to this tool. It is going to make finding new tokens so much simpler. Of course, it doesn't mean all these tokens are legit, right? A ton of these are rugs. A ton of these are not going to be successful, but at least they're here and it makes the research process a lot easier easier because they also try to get you the Twitter, the Telegram and the website. So you can just click it instead of having to find it yourself. And then maybe the website is really pretty and you're like, wow, this team put a lot of effort. This token has a chance to do better than other tokens that are out there. Or you know the name of a token that's going to be dropping soon and you can see them all pop up here until you find the name and then you make sure, yeah, this is the legit token. So definitely keep an eye out on Shuriken socials for when they announce this tool. However, be Beyond just this, they are going to be releasing a ton of great features that are going to make trading with Shuriken even better. I can't leak what these features are, but they are going to have stuff, let's just say, that automates a big part of your trading, and it's going to make it amazing, in my opinion. Now, although today's tutorial was on sniping with Solana, Shuriken is cross-chain, so you can also snipe on ETH mainnet, you can snipe on base, and for trading, you can trade on five different chains from ETH, base, Solana, Blast, and AVAX, and they are very soon going to be launching trading with runes. So this is definitely my favorite tool. It's my go-to tool for trading and hitting profits like these. And on top of it, they have not released their token yet. So I'm trying to get as many points as possible to get my hands on a potential
potential blade airdrop in hopefully the near future. So if you want to try it out for yourself, my referral link is in the description down below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a like. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.